This is... Print or Pass! Welcome to Printer Pass, the review show where we take a look at 3D printer filaments and accessories, run them through a series of tests to determine whether you should print or pass on it. Today we're taking a look at Overture's Matte PLA, which you can buy on Overture's web store or on Amazon.com. Currently, it is on sale on Amazon for $15.21, but typically this roll retails for $19.99. Let's hop into round one. In the box, we have the filament itself, which is on a cardboard spool. We have a notification that they switched from plastic spools to paper spools. And then we also have some instructions on how to print this filament. Overture recommends printing matte PLA between 190 and 220 degrees C with a bed temp of 50 to 70 degrees C and a speed of 30 to 70 millimeters per second. For the benchmark test, I am printing a XYZ calibration cube, a 3D Benchy, and an all-in-one 3D printer mini test. Well, this is my second time getting an error from the AMS with this filament. Let's see what's going on. What the heck is going on? Oh, the filament just broke. Oh boy. Oh boy. All right, taking a look at the calibration cube, it looks pretty good. There's a little bit of deformation here on the Y. The Z looks great. The Benchy looks great as well. A little bit of strain here. You can ignore this hole line. That is very common when printing Benchies. You can look at Reddit on the bamboo forms to read everybody debating about that but the Benchy looks very good. Looking at the mini 3D printer test, the overhang all the way to 80 degrees, started to get deformed there. It did 70 degrees with no problem. And, you know, up to 75, minimal problems. We take a look at the top here. There is the bridging test. And as you can see, it bridged to 25 millimeters with no problem. Um, these hole tests, I'm not going to measure them because that really depends on the calibration of your printer, but everything came out fine. Looking at the stringing section, there's a little bit of stringing. It's not terrible. It was able to print those small posts really well. For strength and flexibility, we're going to use these hooks to hook around the I-beam in my basement, hang some weights from it to see where the break point is of these hooks. And for flexibility, we are going to clamp this ruler shaped print and we're going to pull down on the print until it snaps. These prints will be standard across all print or pass episodes so that we get an even benchmark. Each one of these weights are about five pounds. So there's one. I did test these designs with a different filament before and I was able to get at least 25 pounds. So I would say that this filament is on the weaker side. I did do test prints for these parts to, you know, set up this episode. And with the other PLA I was using, I was able to hang around 26 pounds for a few minutes before they broke. In this case, I was putting in about 10 pounds and it broke. So it seems to be a little bit on the weaker side. In terms of flexibility, this seems to be on par with the other PLA that I tested during my testing phase. All right, time to have a little fun. This is the mystery print round. We will spin the wheel and figure out what we're printing. We're going thinker. I just opened my phone to check on status and I got an error saying that the AMS motor was having trouble 
moving the spool. This is the second time that it's happened, or third time. All right, after further investigation, it turns out that the filament broke off and it was all wrapped up inside of there. I went to pull it out and it got sucked back into the AMS, so. All right, we got her loaded in the back now. Let's reprint this, but I'm gonna print it at its normal scale because I'm running out of time. This thing turned out pretty nice. It is not the size that I originally intended, but could not foresee those problems. Here are my final impressions. I think for the pros, the filament does look really good when you get a successful print. If you're looking for a nice matte finish, this filament definitely has that. But I did run into a lot more roadblocks than I was expecting. I was running into a bunch of AMS issues, which I've used other PLA filaments on cardboard spools in my AMS and have never had problems with that. So that was kind of a pain. Also, the filament was a little brittle out of the box, which was causing filaments to break within the Bowden tube running to the extruder. That was another hiccup that I was running into. In the strength test, it did not do as well as some other tested PLA, which to me is also showing that the filament is a little more brittle than other PLAs on the market. I was definitely a little disappointed. I really like Overture's TPU, so I was really excited when I got a roll of matte PLA to try out for this video. Unfortunately for this video, it's going to be a pass. So subscribe, like the video, and I'll see you next time.